given by you and your, your staff down there. We are happy with it. And our coming here to make our side also. It's a mandatory on us, but not which one. We are here to make a fact-finding mission on the implementation of the project and staffing of your um, of your um, um, embassy and the and the and the and the and the Gambian people who are living in this country are right here. And our coming here, we want to give an update on the issue. That can help us, whereby we can give a good report on on the on the our side visit to the embassy. That being the case, I will hand over the mother department and the other embassy today. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair and head of the delegation, Honorable Sidney Jawara. Your Excellency, like he rightly said, we are on a mission just to establish a few facts and by way of questioning and interactions. And that is why we are here. But uh, before we go ahead with the business proper, we would like to do introduction, self introduction, so that you know who and who are here. Then on your side, uh, you can also introduce yourself and the gentleman over there who has been with us since last night. <laughs> and thank him for that. Um, I am Honorable Madisise, a member of the committee. Yes, I am Honorable Sini Jawara, the Vice Chair of the Foreign Affairs Committee. I am Honorable Lavibe Sani, Burkawa South, a member of the committee. I am Honorable Naiman Sisi. I am Honorable Bab Sise, member for Sava Sanjal and a member of the committee. Mm -hmm. I am Honorable Musa Chan, as well as a member for Serapunda and a member of the committee. What the history was? I am Honorable Mansaho from Central Badibo, member of the committee. I am Honorable Tanti Chan, National Assembly member for Lua Nome and a member of this committee. Good afternoon, Mawadu Ba, clerk to the committee. Good afternoon, Fatma Takesi Sao, resident to the committee. Good afternoon, I am Fatma Takesi, clerk to the committee. Ambassador is for a sub-demote specialist. Maybe you are rest. My name is Ibrahim Mawadu, communications officer. Your Excellency, this is the team. Thank you very much. Uh, I am Ami Fabure, the ambassador of the Gambia in Guinea-Bissau, and uh, he is uh, Momodu Jalo, the Green Deputy Head of Mission. He was the first secretary. Uh, I have other staff, Pumbi staff, but they are on their annual leave. I have uh, financial attache, Amadou Sek. Yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. I have uh, defense attache, Lamin Suntubuya. Then the protocol officer, Fodi Gesama. And uh, we have one Pumbi driver, Ablai Kujabi, mm -hmm. for the interim deputy head of mission. Thank you very much. So, like the vice chair told you, like the vice chair told you, we, as the Foreign Affairs Committee, Standing Committee in the Parliament, uh, we are out this time around to come to your embassy. And uh, our main focus is really going to be on the project that was here for some years. But uh, before we move on, we would first want you as the head of the mission to give us a general updates on an implementation of the project and any other thing around within the office. That will be our starting base, Excellency. Thank you very much. Uh, 
thank you very much. I think I have to put you through our activities. Then I will last with the project. <laughs> because uh, for the project, I don't know anything about it. It has been implemented here for quite a number of years. When I was not here, when some of the officers were not here, so we might find it very difficult to say anything. Maybe for that, you have to consult the ministry. Yes. Uh, I have the introduction, but uh, that one is open. It's all about uh, foreign ministry. Then the mission of the Gambia Embassy in Guinea-Bissau is to promote and safeguard and achieve the country socio-economic interests to support the welfare of the Gambians. Yeah, that's our mission. Then the vision also to mobilize international and support and collaborate the economic growth and the development. That's our vision. Then we have our strategies. We have our strategic objectives of the mission to strengthen and reinforce the existing bilateral relationship between Gambia and the Guinea-Bissau. That's the two countries, because we share a lot in common. Because historically, according to our forefathers, many people in Gambia, some are originated from Guinea-Bissau, and here also we have a lot of people residing in Gambia. So most of our surnames, cultures, they are all the same. And also to support the welfare of the Gambians. Because we have quite a number of Gambians here, because we are trying to update our database. Actually, we don't know the actual number. Because some people, they do come here seasonally, especially during Kasu harvesting time. But roughly, according to the community in Geneva South, they said it's almost 200. Yeah, but, yes, but I know it will be more than that. We are trying to update our data bits. Then also to network with the multi and the bilateral organization and support, coordinate and also exchange programs. The South here, they have a lot of embassies. Some of the embassies are present here when they are not in the Gambia. So we try to collaborate with them. Even the day before yesterday, I was in Gabu because uh, EU and others, they have programs there. So we attend each other's program, at least to support each other. It, is, it was based on this uh, female genital mutilation because we have the experience, so we are there at least to make at least a better experience, to see a better experience, yes. Then uh, also to mobilize resources for the implementation of the National Development Plan. It's part of our agenda, but unfortunately still now, since I came here for coming to one year, nine months, we couldn't have any resources or donor support. Yeah, but still we are collaborating with some other international organizations. Yeah. Then program of activities also we have few. Then we have policy, strategy and the management. For this one we look into the policies and also the planning and the administrative activities. Because uh, embassy is all about administrative work, especially this office. You have to know the technical know-how on how to administer administrative, especially human resources, is part of our program because we have home-based staff and the local recruiter staff. And the, lo the local recruiter staff, we have almost 18, uh, 18 on the ground. We have one secretary, then we have four drivers, then one cook, six securities, three cleaners, one messenger, and one interpreter. Yeah. So these are the support staffs supporting us. Then the bilateral cooperation also, <coughs> institutional collaboration, especially with the host country. We do visit different ministries and institutions to collaborate with them. Because uh, in the Gambia, we receive a lot of delegations coming from Gambia to meet some of the institutions, especially the ministries, for example, the Ministry of Trade, they do come here to have collaboration with the Commerce Minister, especially in the area of Kasu, Kasu trading. Then education also, we do have a lot of students coming here, especially history students, environmental students, 
and even agricultural students. They frequently come here. Even last week, we received almost 65 students. Yeah, from Masakoni School in West Coast region. Yeah, so it seems that the Guinea Bissau is a hub, especially for history students and environment and even agriculture, so that at least they can have best experience from their counterpart. So based on that, I think uh, the embassy is important. Although it's a small embassy, yeah, in, sometimes people thought that Guinea Bissau embassy is not that much important. But uh, since I came here, every other week or every other month, we have received a lot of delegations coming to Bissau in business or sometimes private. Or some, we, some, we receive some people who are also stranded, mm -hmm. going through badly, they cannot make it, they will come. Some other sick, sick people also, the same thing. So it means uh, it's an important embassy for the Gambia, yeah, looking at our culture and the history. Yeah. So the report I give you has some pictures mm -hmm. and the time they came here. Yeah, I'll make sure we print more so that we can have each one of you. So resource mobilization, as I told you, still we don't mobilize any resources from other donors. We only rely on what we get from the Gambia. In short, this is what we have. Then for development, we never receive any development budget. So in case if at all we receive it, We'll be glad to maintain us or rehabilitate that building. Yeah. And the final one also is that in 2022, we received a proof estimate of 20,062,461. Then 2023, we received a proof estimate of 25 million. 133, 293. 2024, the recent year, approved estimate 29 million 300,000. Yeah. Then, uh, since I came here, I've seen that the embassy, since inception, they have never developed service rules and regulation for the local recruited staff. So, with the little, little knowledge I have from agriculture, I was able to draft a service rules and regulation for the local recruiter staff, so that at least to maintain their security. So I was able to draft some and send it to the ministry so that at least they can seek advice from the BDC. And uh, not only that, the embassy, we are castles. What I mean by castles, we don't handle no cast here. Whatever we are doing here on cast is uh, Omini Plus. I don't know whether you know it. It's, it's in the Eco Bank, but you transact everything through IT. Even payment, if you want to do it, you have to transfer the salary to that person's account, even the local recruiter staff. And uh, whatever we want to purchase also, if you have your all receipts, that the pro, pro forma invoices, the lowest one, then you transfer the money to that guy's account. So we don't handle any cash here. Yes. So that's what we are doing here. And uh, since I came here also, People are coming to seek for visa, but at uh, that time they will just come and pay money to whoever is here to, to serve visa. But uh, I wrote a memorandum of understanding so that at least any person who wants to acquire this visa should go to the bank, that's Eco Bank, that's where we have our account. You pay directly to the bank. It started from this general. Then you bring your receipt, we issue visa. Yeah, because uh, the money is for the government, not for any staff here. Yeah. 
Then uh, since I came, I tried to establish a contract committee so that at least whatever we are doing, it will be transparent. Yeah, although we are few in number, but we sat together and discuss. Then also procurement committee, if, my, if I'm right there, no? yes. so that whatever we want to procure, we'll sit down and agree on it. Then we go ahead. Yes. Although I'm not a diplomat, it's not my field, but with the little administrative experience I have in agriculture, because I served almost uh, 33 years in agriculture, starting from agri demonstrator, then climb all the ladder up to minister position. So that's why I was able to grab quickly. So, thank you. Good. Thank you so much, Ambassador. This is well articulated, and I saw members are good listeners. They are listening to you carefully. I must commend you for some brilliant initiatives that you have taken. In case of cash engineers, in case of transactions, contact companies, uh, um, service rules, uh, so all of these things. These are brilliant uh, initiatives, and then it will really help to uplift the embassy. Um, uh, we, I will open the floor for members if they have questions for clarity. Yeah, so we'll just ask, uh, we open the floor. Yeah. Vice Chair has hand is up, yes. Uh, Thank you. Thank you, Ambassador, for that brilliant experience that you have done, transparencies, which we are glad to you know, receive that information. Uh, but um, unfortunately, um, our missions come in here. The priority um, intervention was the the implementation of the, um, the chancery. And the way you use it, we have no knowledge. And the way was unfortunate, it was. And, and, but I want to ask you, the moment you come to the office here, mm. and, again, and you know that there is a implementation of this chance to um, I know it, it was not your time, mm -hmm. but then nonetheless, you are still occupying the office. The person has gone when you are here, and the office remains. Did you make any follow up or any investigation about this chance how the money is um, invested in, in this um, um, project? Because these are taxpayers' monies. Again, the transparency that you are doing, you know, passing all all challenges to the bank, which we upload on you. But then, here the, the main issues of us coming here, and it was outlined from the query, but the query mm -hmm. is the implementation of this chance. And again, we want to you, even you have a little background on these issues, give us. Whereby because we cannot only stop, I don't know. Mm -hmm. but you must make some research on it. If you can brief, give us those, um, open doors whereby members can be able to, you know, grab some information there. But then if you stop, I don't know, means our coming here, will be, those will be closed. But the knowledge that you have there, tell us. From there, we can push it. Okay. I think if I'm that's that uh, according to information I had, they said uh, not this government but the former government that was the time money was allocated to build that chancery. Yeah, but, uh, the ambassador responsible actually I can't remember that. Yeah, but it's Gambia government money. Yeah, I had it. But I didn't see it in record. But some are saying 11 million. Yeah, but I haven't seen it in the record. Yes. So that, that, that's my problem. Yeah, that's why I said uh, maybe the ministry, because they're the one disbursing the money, maybe they will know it. 
Yeah. But it was the last regime. Mm. Yes. It was for this uh, government. Mm. I think I'm the third ambassador here. Yes. Yes. Can I? Okay. Thank you. Can yes. I? Yes. 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 I just wanted to observe something. Hence, um, there were two topics that were proposed before the ambassador. And she decided to say it will, she will prefer we discuss one first, and then the issue of the country will come last. Um, would we want to maybe restrain our questions at the moment based on the presentations that she has given? And then the issue of the country will come as a topic of its own as recommended by our excellent. If it agrees, by yeah, yeah. 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 So we deal with the first one first right. and then come back to the chance. Yeah. 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 Right. So any yeah. questions on the first? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, My hand okay, was okay. Was okay. Was I thought it was on the Yes, no, uh, thank you very much, Our Excellency, uh, and the team for welcoming us in Kina the South. Uh, your presentation speaks volume. And it means no one is born to be a diplomat. What is it trait that we learn and you have manifested it uh, from your field? And we have seen the progress that you know you outlined as alluded by the chair. Now, um, me, my concern is the funding of the embassy. Now, um, are you getting your funds as expected? From, from, from the Gambia. Now that's my first question. As the allocations, do you have any challenge in, uh, you know, getting your funds? The other part about it is, you said since you came, you didn't have any funding, like from partners, for example. Yeah. So, what kind of funding are you expecting from partners that you are not getting? I want to be cleared out. Oh. You know your, your your meetings with them. Have you ever been able to take any partners to the Gambia? Do you understand? As far as international diplomacy is concerned, these are my three points that I want you to address. Thank you. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Funding from the partners. I mention it because we have a lot of uh, Gambian people here, mm. and uh, most of them are very poor. Mm. So, for example, if you can get a project from partners, just like uh, the way our people are living in the Gambia, at least to do some poultry, some petty trading, or farming, I think that will help them or even fisheries, because here they have a lot of fish. Yeah, because uh, most of them, they do come to request funds to support them. And what we have is not enough. So that's why I said, if you can get funding from partners, but we couldn't have any funds from partners. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What about the allocation, budget allocation, you said we have access to that? Yeah, I'm coming to that. Uh, we do have a uh, budget allocation, but uh, this year I think is quarterly. Yeah. What we receive, if we buy fuel, <coughs> we pay electricity, uh, sometimes uh, maintenance of vehicle, welfare, it's not enough. But the little bit is, the little is allocated, mm -hmm. accessing that, is that the any challenge is there? I think that is his yeah. question. Uh, sometimes it takes time because we are in May. Yeah. Yes, April. Um, April. Almost yeah. April. Yeah, April. April. So almost May, April. So still now we couldn't pay our local staff salary mm -hmm. yet. Yeah. And uh, some of these local staff is from hand to mouth. Mm -hmm. The moment uh, they don't have, they have to face the ambassador. Mm -hmm. the, Interim deputy head of me so to support. Yeah. So well, I have on my list honorable Mai and then honorable Jason. Yes. Okay. Mr. Kapp. Hello, can you allow us? 
Yes, I think the, the ambassador who wants to allow the deputy. No, 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 no. no not. Mm. Are we okay? No, he's reminding me that allocation is very always late. Okay. Mm. Uh, that, that, that's the truth. Yeah, yeah, that's why. Yes. I think you, you have you have, you have yes. that. yes. that's why you, you are, your payment of local yes. staff is okay. late. It's always late. Uh, okay. Yeah. So personally, whatever I'm doing here, even for my people, fuel and orders, I use my own money. To buy yes. And sometimes uh, to get the form from the accountant, he is here. He's my interim deputy head of mission. Sometimes you mention to me, reform, reform, reform. What I told him, I can, you cannot expect me spending my money without reform. Uh, I think you can add on to that. Yeah. You want to say something? Um, I just have a bit to say about the financial attachment. Uh, regarding financial issues, we always face big problem. But whenever you ask for anything, it's not available. And I believe the financial attache is just there to dispose what he's asked for. But he's always deprived people by saying that it's not, it's not available. Uh, so we find it very difficult. Anytime you write a request for anything, there is no money. And money is allocated. So where is the money? That's a challenge. So he's mm -hmm. In fact, challenge. sometimes he, he thinks that providing welfare for people, especially guests coming, they thought that it's a waste, and it's not. It's part of our culture. As Gambian, it's part of our culture. That's why we are here. Yes. Because uh, beside what their food is different, quite different. Yes. So asking him to give money to welcome welfare people, well, I think he knows it very well. <laughs> but it's okay. Yeah. Thank you, Excellency. I would like to start with the, the greatest hospitality we received since yesterday on our arrival. We can't thank you enough. Uh, you know, we believe that this is not uh, only an embassy, but this is the Gambia. This is the norms and the culture we inherited. And wherever we go, we found the same thing. I give a uh, thank on behalf of the whole entire delegation. And uh, my question is, uh, we've been listening to your briefing with regards to the embassy, the achievements which we are doing with that, especially when it comes to the accountability, controlling the leakages of the visas, visa fees, which is very important because we have similar issues in so many institutions, not only here, but uh, trying to find a mechanism to see that uh, there can be, a, even not a stop, but it can be a minimum. We thank you for that. After giving us the, uh, the, the, the achievements, we would like to know your challenges because I know that there cannot be only the achievements. We want you to be open up to us. We are here for a bilateral. We want to know what are the problems of this embassy. Even though the first mission is the investigation of this uh, new chance we are all aware. But uh, your challenges also will help because you started with uh, saying that uh, the allocations is very limited. But what are the challenges and what will you expect the committee should in case uh, we have to report back and we want to face your ministry to see that they have been here in control the challenges we are facing right now. Thank you. Assuming that we are going to have challenges is uh, resources. Yeah. yeah. Because uh, the cost of fuel here is very high and also electricity. My resident, I'm using a pool and uh, I use electricity pump water. That's a challenge. And also vehicle, maintenance of vehicle. Because at the time I came here, the utility cars I found here, they are not in a good condition. But uh, this year I was able to maintain uh, that wide one, Fortuna. Now it's good. Then I send the pickup also so that it will be maintenance. That's the official utility car. Maybe by next week it will be ready. Yeah. But uh, the time I came here also I was able to acquire a flat car. Yeah, that one is a Prado. 
because uh, you have a lot of diplomats here. I think uh, having a good vehicle also counts between your diplomacy, especially colleagues. Because uh, the time I came here, the type of people we have, uh, I don't think uh, we can represent Gambia on that. So I was able to have one vehicle and a utility car. Uh, the other constraint is, uh, I think uh, sometimes we have to know the type of people to be posted, especially human resources. The embassy is very important. We are here to represent the country. Yeah. So these are the constraints. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, <coughs> level, uh, I have not just adjust my list. Mm -hmm. yes. 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 Thank you so much, uh, Your Excellency, for the report, which is very explicit. Uh, in connection to the report, I definitely I want to thank you seriously. It's rather unfortunate a season agriculturist, particularly horticulturist, is sent into a diplomatic field. But thank to the managerial scheme, you are able to apply yourself to live up to this expectation. Congrats for that. Interestingly, uh, I want to congratulate you specifically when you come to digitalization of your revenue that you are getting. That's promote transparency, which is very, very key. Anybody who wants you, they go to the bank and pay to your account. It makes accountability very easy. And the issue of regulation to deal with the local staffs. I think uh, you have earned a lot within the agricultural subsector. That is why everybody should uh, emulate that. The other one I want to emphasize, indeed, this place is very important, as you alluded to, particularly with regards to the historical aspect. I want to inform you for free that by this end, I'm a citizen of this particular country, because the last empire, the Kabul Empire, we were in charge of them. They know it. <laughs> so I want to also talk about the issue of budgetary allocation. Like I'm looking at uh, the number of years that you talked about, there's an incremental budget. Are you in position to give us the actual potential budget line for this particular ministry? And the second one, because like there's 20, uh, 20 million, 20, 25, uh, 20, uh, 25 million, 29 million. So the actual revenue size. So that, and this is a committee that will be engaging into a bilateral, if possible. We know actually the importance attached to this thing when you come to the bilateral. You can look at it, the general visa one, how can we? Uh, do something to that, if possible. Mm. So if you know the actual, what you consume on an annual basis. Uh, the other aspect is, are you privy to the budget line that has been approved when it comes to disbursement, whether you actually get what has been approved for? So we, I want you to give us those statistics so that we can. Sometimes, people will send in 100 million, they approve 30 million. When you come to this boss menu, end up getting 40 million. So that is why we want to know uh, those issues here. That's my question. Thank you. Uh, the 2024 approved budget, I was able to extract it from the main one so that I can be familiar with it. Because uh, last year, I cannot uh, say anything about this. But this year, I said, ah, let me go through the mean estimate. Then I retrieved the name itself. That's where I highlighted everything. So that at least whatever comes in, the name is out, I'll know it. I don't stop there. I even write a memo again because I talked to my accountant verbally to add me so that whatever is paid to the account, I will have access and I will see it for the implementation. But uh, finally, he did it. So presently, whatever comes to the account, I will see it. I will do, just go into the only plus, the bank account, then I see everything. Yeah. Then the, the total budget you are talking about, 
I think uh, Guinea-Bissau here, at least maximum, if we can have 35, that will help. Yes, because looking at the cost of fuel, yeah, and also the electricity. Even here, we are not paying the electricity. It's the government who is providing electricity for us here. Yeah. Yes. Even this uh, this room, this house, is the Nebisao government who rehabilitated this mission. So I think uh, they are doing a lot for us. Even my resident, they the one who paid that resident. But the home based staff, every year the landlords, they always increase their rent. So that's a challenge. Yeah. So that's why I said, at least if we can have 35, this year is almost 29 million 200. But if it can be increased to 35, I think that will solve our problem. But every year, this home day staff, their rents are increased. Yes. Well, before the, the program about culture, I would just want to ask, the South Women Peace went renovate here. Is it a, I mean, a bilateral I mean, agreement that we also do the same for them in Banjo? Is it a poker? I just want to get Do you want to come there? Yeah. That's why I wanted to, sorry, I had to come in. I was just doing something for you to see that yeah. this reciprocity agreement we have. Mm -hmm. I know that in Banyu, in the Gabia, the government also was taking care of the sensory and residents of the ambassador for many years. I can remember, I was in the of and I know we dealt with that ambassador, the residents and the sensory. Mm -hmm. Just like we did with Cuba. Order. So I'm sure it's the same thing that obtains this first spoken arrangement that we do that with Senegal to in the government. So I'm so happy. That, that is still in place. Yeah, it's good for them to know that this. They, don't, don't, they are not just doing it for free. We are doing it for them. Thank you very much. And then, uh, I'm about. Thank you. And then not only that, they also give me personal security. Yes. Yes. That's good. That's good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Your Excellency, I just want to pick it up from my honorable colleagues we to say thank you very much for the hospitality, yourself and the deputy head of New Zealand, if I may get it right, since we arrived yesterday. Um, my questions might be plenty if I should ask all, but I will just be specific on certain things. Um, as alluded to by Honorable Sani, um, you said um, if you have a budget line of 35 million, would be enough, more than enough for the embassy. Um, in 2025, 2023, the approved budget was 34 million. The actual for the budget and you said you received 25 million um, 2023 2023 25 million 25 million in 2024 2024 29 29 29 yeah the approved estimate the approved estimate okay now during our budget bilaterals with the ministry there was an approved budget line for welfare of Gambians, which was $550,000. There was also approved budget line for rents and rates of $2,800,000. Now, if you're saying that the rents and rates of this building is taken care of, by the Bissan government. Mm -hmm. Have you ever engaged the ministry about this particular budget line? One, that's my first question. 
and two, the actuals of the Gambian welfare, welfare of Gambians for 2023. Were you able to find out, to know the actual amount that was given to you since it was a challenge for you in 2023? Because it's like um, Your Excellency, if, uh, I'm sorry to say, it's very sad, but we are here to, 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 to cooperate and to partner, mm -hmm. to see how best we can resolve situations mm -hmm. that may have results, negative results or negative impact to our Gambians mm -hmm. living in Bishop, mm -hmm. and also to the office. Mm -hmm. So it's very important you tell us all because we are partners in development, mm -hmm. as alluded to by Honorable Sisi Maimuna. You know, a problem known is a problem solved. Mm -hmm. But if we don't know some of these challenges, it's always a problem for us to cooperate and handle. Mm -hmm. So I think it's important you tell us so that we will have more informed decisions whenever we engage your partners and our partners in administration. Mm -hmm. yeah, for last year, the welfare, mm -hmm. it was uh, 200,000. 200,000, mm -hmm. which was approved mm -hmm. yeah, last year, 2023. Mm -hmm. And uh, this year, welfare is 500. Mm -hmm. Yes. So for how much have you received? This boss, this boss. For this year. For the first quarter. Uh, for the first quarter, unfortunately, I couldn't have access to that uh, information. But I know January, if I'm right, uh, he received uh, three hundred thousand. But that's the whole sum for all. January, then, uh, then February, five hundred. Yes. Okay, so this, uh, so this comes in gold form? Yes. So then you segregate it based on the needs? Yes, and the then the capacity. accountant will know how to segregate it. Yeah, but uh, what, what the committee would like to know is if, maybe not now, if you can be able to um, supply us with this information. Because we allocate. Yes. At the end of the day, we need to know what we allocated, whether it's, whether it's accessible or not. That's why we asked that question. At the, at, at the onset, mm -hmm. so that we can do what, what, uh, so that we can do lobbying mm -hmm. on behalf of the embassies, because we don't want a situation. We put money for vehicles for mm -hmm. for embassies. At the end of the day, they don't get it. They still come back and say it's not given. Mm -hmm. So follow up need to be done with the Ministry of Finance mm -hmm. in the disbursement. Mm -hmm. So, but we need to know yeah. to be clear, so that in the next budget session we will know where we can lobby on your behalf when we have bilateral with the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. I think that data, we, will, we might need it. Uh, on which chair. Unfortunately, the doctor is not here, but yeah, maybe. next week, uh, he will be here. Yeah. Yeah. We will we'll give them address so, that they have sent in. So, let, let me complete this. Uh, the rent and rates we are talking about, uh, the, uh, this year, they allocated so 1,500,000. But not for this mission, but for the house rent. Yes, for the house rent for of the home base staff. The under deputy under head of mission, the protocol, financial attache, defense attache, only and, and drive of five. Yeah, five. Yes. So 1.5. 1.5. Yes. Is that for the whole year? For the rent. Yeah, for the rent. For the whole year. Yes. So, but uh, as I mentioned earlier, every year the landlords they increase. Of course. Yes. Thank you very much, madam. Thank you. Thank you very much, madam. Uh, you are, I would first like to thank you for disclosing the self raised revenue of your embassy because this is actually a problem in Uganda as a member of the part 
we are dealing with so many uh, institutions that do raise uh, revenues, internal revenues, without disclosing it. And that's a concern. So I will commend you for that. And you have equally proven that administration requires knowledge and not common sense. You know, and it is evident that you have been innovative by bringing in service rule and uh, disclosure of self raised revenue. So my issue is, and knowing the budget of the Gambia that our country is running a budget uh, deficit, neither a surplus or a balanced budget, and the allocation works as what is available in the basket, the Minister of Finance will prioritize their allocation. I wanted to ask whether the allocation do commensurate with the level of responsibility you have as, a, as an embassy. But that one, I think you have answered that. Yes. So my question would be now, I want some clarity as to how many, is it those 200 Gambians you've mentioned that lives here in Guinea-Bissau? Is it in Bissau or in Guinea-Bissau? In Guinea-Bissau. Yeah. And another... No, that's an estimate. Okay. Approximately. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Is it a You mean is the Gambians living in the entire mm. country of Guinea Bissau? So, yeah, okay. I think I have no other issues. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Let me join my colleagues to thank you again for the hospitality. Mine is not a question. Um, is something that we always propose to the ministry, mm -hmm. that is uh, for the embassies to go in for mortgages, mm -hmm. so that we will have our own facility without continue paying rent, rent, rent. Mm -hmm. When we get like a mortgage, mm -hmm. at the end of the mortgage, the facility will be ours as Gambian, so we will go away with renting. Mm -hmm. So the, do the ministry engage you, or once ever tell you um, to look for somewhere to get a mortgage? In Bissau. Uh, in Bissau itself, mortgage, I think it will be difficult. Bissau is different from the Gambia mm -hmm. because of uh, the instability. Mm -hmm. Yes, it will be difficult. But for that uh, chancery, the new chancery, mm -hmm. I was able to engage one Senegalese. Mm -hmm. He is based in Bissau here. Yeah. In fact, even last week he went there and took photos and also evaluated the house, whether it can be rehabilitated or whether we should construct a new one. So he came here with a report <coughs> and he said, okay, maybe you can wait. I have to consult first. If I have the green light, I will engage you. You prepare a BOQ. So that at least whether it can be maintenance or we build a new one. So that at least we can go away with this rent. Mm -hmm. The area is big. It's almost 85 by 45. Correct. We can have home based staff, they are residents, mm -hmm. and we have our office. So that we can go away with this rent. Okay. Follow up. Follow Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I know that's going to be the last session. But um, what we get that is the information that is that building, that is that structure, is supposed to be demolished. So if I told that the recommendation is demolition, why trying to rehabilitate it? No, you know, I'm not a contractor. Okay. That's why I sent somebody there to evaluate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Whether one can rehabil rehabilitate it or demolish it. Yes, honorable Jawa. Just last on my list. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Your Excellency. Yes, I was just trying to look on the estimates that you are trying to raise here. But I have a problem here. Um, in 2022, that we approved 18 million, 777,000. In 2023, 
the parliament approved 21 million 523,293 votes. In 2024, parliament approved 30 million 200,000. 2024. 2024. So their, their forecast in 2025 is that 35, 34 million 60,000 dollars. Mm -hmm. But in your submissions, mm -hmm. you mentioned 29 million. Mm -hmm. And already parliament approved 30. Mm -hmm. But the difference is in the market. No, but yeah, yeah, yeah. it's parliament. Yeah. 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 Because, because this, is, this is parliament decision. Mm -hmm. No, it's a question. Mm -hmm. I understand yeah. this question. The ambassador has all mm. No, I want to link this thing. Mm. Because in 2023, mm -hmm. the, the actual that you have is 35 million. Mm -hmm. And when Parliament approved 21 million, mm -hmm. how this increase comes about? 25. You understand? Um, in 2024, they start and now you get 29. Mm -hmm. What I'm trying to put here is, no, you said they give you money quarterly. Yeah, this year. Quarterly. This year. Mm -hmm. Yes. And if it is quarterly, <coughs> how much was given to you? The first quarter. I think I mentioned it. I said that yes. January they gave us uh, 300,000. Yes. Then February, yeah, 500,000. Okay. Yes. You took it of um, 30 million mm -hmm. and quarterly they give 300,000. Plus that quarter one is going to be 800,000. 800,000, and you're giving off 30 million. Yeah, but this is what, you know, as he said, what is available to the basket. No, honorable, I don't know. You know, you, you, you have been oversight on, on now, mm -hmm. and we have this in the parliament, and where the finance has to explain why this. Mm -hmm. You understand? This is where I'm going. Uh, it's not for her now. Because yeah. not for her now. Yeah. Well, we are looking for because you you approve this money. You understand? If this is the basket now, Parliament of and we the Minister agreed for thirty million. And even thirty million of um, eight hundred thousand is zero point six percent. Okay. So that's what no I'm trying to come. Let me know. Okay now no 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 the reason why I'm doing this. No, we are our coming here. We want to get facts. Mm -hmm. This is what we are going here. Mm -hmm. You understand? But I can leave it as it is when we discuss. Uh, Ambassador, the yeah, last is like, okay, so I'm just going to tell you these questions are not for you, but mm -hmm. rather help you your, your yes. office. Yes. yes. Okay, the last, one, the last one. The last one. You are, no, you have to. No, I, I just want to get to this one. No, let, let, let him finish. Let him finish. No. So that let him order so that we can go on. No. no. The last one, you were talking of how to make staffs. How the uh, staffs are employed? Staff yes. What? What? Why? What is the disparity of that? Service. What? What is the problem of the staff? If you let us know. Well, I have to take it from myself. Mm -hmm. I'm not a diplomat. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Not a diplomat. That's not my field. Okay. But you are now. On my list, uh, on my list, I have Ambassador. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. My most just a question on your advice. Mm -hmm. After listening to you, I think um, it looks like um, there is um, internally. This person advice based on my little experience in this, that I heard you say you request for your, your claims, reforms, reforms and etc. etc. Mm -hmm. And the finance authority will not say will say always it's not available. Money, there's no money. Yeah, I think there's a problem there. Because in your structure, you are the head of mission. This is deputy. Okay, before you proceed, mm -hmm. he's here. No, just let me just come in. Okay, okay. So let me just come in. Mm -hmm. I guess you know the structure already. Mm -hmm. What I'm saying is, because if the accounting officer is the deputy head of mission, that is clear, especially the permanent secretary and the minister as the accounting officer. 
approval is not buried the finest attorney. They execute. Approval is given by the deputy head or counselor, depending on who is next to your hierarchy. The little experience I have mm -hmm. in, in diplomacy is that mm -hmm. it, don't, it, it should not happen. Mm -hmm. The budget you prepare is based on the call sample that comes from government through the foreign ministry mm -hmm. and given, sent to various embassies mm -hmm. with all the budget lines, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I know that for some time, OMI took the policy of for fiscal constraints. Salaries of embassies mm -hmm. are only done monthly because it's a cash allocation yes. policy, isn't it? Yes. Other charges would come quarterly. But listening to what is, it seems like there's some problem here from what I heard because quarterly allocation is based on your global budget, isn't it? Mm -hmm. For the other charges. So therefore it, it derived from your overall envelope for other charges for the year based on all these budget lines. So if a question was put that the challenges, because that is what I'm concerned with, that mm -hmm. the challenges, your budget was this for the year, for the challenges with the other budget line. Now you put that down into quarterly allocations and submitted that to the foreign ministry. That is not the problem. The problem is what comes in terms of disbursements to come, mm -hmm. matching budget and resources to come. Because there's a problem. It looks like what is budgeted for the quarter is not what is coming in, isn't it? Mm -hmm. huh? Is that, huh? Because this, of course, yes. this quarter, you just said uh, 300,000. The quarter should be 10 million. 10 million. <laughs> yes, something like that. So there's a problem for the departing. Six million. Six, six, yeah. Whatever, whatever, six, six, whatever six, that total quarterly for the for the for the other charges is, you only receive three hundred thousand, isn't it? Eight hundred thousand. Eight hundred. Five hundred plus three hundred. Eight hundred thousand. Yes. For the for the I'm talking about the quarter now because other charges is quarterly. It's not monthly. It's only salaries that are disbursed monthly. Yes, so, but, but for so that's why we put things in context that we are very clear. Because what you said is therefore that shortfall is there for the quarter, mm -hmm. January, March. Mm -hmm. It's obvious. So there's a problem already departing from only 2024. Mm -hmm. So my my um, advice is also the question of the salaries. You have a problem of the cost allocation monthly for salaries or not? You do have. Yeah. No. no. Yeah. Uh, I think we have probably presentation, that's why. No, 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 no. I would not have come in if it was not blessed. Yeah. 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 Because I'm trying to just help with the little I can do. Because it looks like there's a problem in terms of I mean, what is coming and what the management of, in your management, in terms of your finance authority and I mean, what you said, isn't it? And that's why I'm trying to come in now to at least provide a little advice as to moving forward. That's all. Okay. Based on what you said, you have a challenge because what is coming quarterly for this year, for example, is not what is expected for the challenge, mm -hmm. isn't it? Mm -hmm. So, what have you informed the ministry? Your land ministry. Um, well, you know, every year we submit uh, our annual plan. No, uh, that I know. Yeah, what I'm and, is uh, and uh, uh, let me learn. Yeah, the peers know, knows it very well. Uh, he knows it. He knows it that uh, Bissau is busy. Yeah, obviously. Uh, in fact, uh, he even advised me for the welfare. I think we need some augmentation. Mm -hmm. We have to write. Mm -hmm. Yes, he knows it. So, yeah. Yes, because I know. I always discuss with him. Yes. Yes. Go on. Finish. We are just trying to do a little advice. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Sorry, allow me to observe you a little bit. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit. Honorable with your permission. Um, Honorable yeah. Ambassador. Yes. The issue as established by the Ambassador. Mm -hmm. And trying to drive where he is trying to drive, he's trying to get all the facts 
laid on the table so that we can see and get proper solutions to them. Um, have you ever, have you ever, in any case, reported or write, written to the ministry with regards to administration issues? Probably, to be more specific, between you and financial attache, or between whoever is responsible for approval and the execution. Have you ever? Actually, I don't. I never write that. And is there a problem? Uh, well, uh, there is a problem. Yes. Because uh, the moment I spend my own money, if the money is here, I think I should be refunded. Okay. Sure. But every time you say, you, you tell the person that refund, refund, refund. See, so, now, now, okay. In fact, uh, he is my yeah, 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 entry. Yeah, yeah. Let me learn. He is my entry. Yeah. Last, week, last week, what did he say? He said, no. When it comes to dealing with finance, the ambassador has no say. That's what he said. That's what he said. I said, what, but I cannot do anything without notifying the ambassador, being the head of the musician. And I clearly told her, what we are facing, Big, big problem with the financial matter. Uh, no, no, no. In, in fact, even our medical bills, since I came here, I have never received any medical bill. I have all my medical bills here. If I write, no, I will. school fee only once. School fee only once. I will write. The ambassador is here, my life witness. But with, when it comes to him, then for the past two years, before the ambassador will come here, I know what I have been encountering. Mm -hmm. Whatever I ask for, it's never available. Even the maintenance of my vehicle, the uh, uh, treasury, when they came here, they said the embassy is responsible for maintenance of my vehicle and battery. But whenever I ask, they said, no, it's my office. So they all say, this is a discrimination that I'm from another institution. I said, no, I'm not here for that. As long as we are, as long as we are all under the same umbrella, we are the same. Yes, sir. So I, that was I, a big problem for, for us. I, 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 want to, I want to say the problem has shown up. The committee cannot say they don't know what is the problem. Exactly. For me, <laughs> now, we have taken note of that. No, exactly. Now. So it is now when we are done, when we meet as a committee, what exactly. actions are we going to take? It's now left to us. It's not that you can move on to another one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I have to add yes. on In fact, last year I was seen. Okay, you can add. Almost one month okay. I was in the Gambia. Mm. In fact, I thought I would die. Mm. But my authenticated medical bills, I was at Bigiro Hospital. Mm -hmm. Authenticated medical bill. Still now, they it's couldn't afford me. Okay. Okay. Good. Even my child's school fees. So, so this problem is no, no now. Can we move to something thank else? Uh, thank you. Thank you. So so on on my list, I have uh, Honorable Lamedeshan. Uh, uh, so now, I will, okay, we will still have the same question, but then we must move to the other. Yeah, yeah. yeah. this is not a question. Okay. It's just like issues that arise or emanate from here that was to be noted, you know, like for example, the issue of allocation, you know, is a challenge. You know, the, 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 the access, access, accessing funds, you know, from the finance attache, we need to, as a committee, that one need to be noted. Then from here, as you said, when we are discussing, these are going to be what we are. Yo, we want better men for good. For our Jesus, all right? And again, we, we knew um, Gambians doesn't give. They are fair to give information. And without even we, we can't do anything. Now, what we are looking for here? Not you, but the, but the embassy. We 
because actually we know how many monies that will be approved here. You are here before her, and you know the history of this embassy. Yeah, yeah observation. Yeah. Like if anything that they want to say off camera, they can do so. Yes, so you do that. I'm, 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 I'm coming there. Yeah, I'm coming there. No, they can off it, no problem. But because <coughs> if we don't know, we cannot pass on for the good. You understand? For her being here as the head, he needs that respect. You understand? You've been here and you know the history of this embassy. Tell us, because what we have seen here and what you people are giving us <coughs> is less than what you people need. You understand? Because you cannot bring people here and try to frustrate them. You understand? And we are not going to count on, on it. We want you to give us information. If you want off coming. And you have. <coughs> if you want off coming. We are very safe, and you are very safe. You understand? What we need is um, our mission was about this um, construction. But again, your <coughs> your money and your responsibility is us, which is recognized by the constitution that is a standing committee on foreign affairs matters. You understand? And again, this why on on the on the agenda that. He gave us. It's part of it. The, the, the staffing and I think it's there, right? Yes, I have. You very yes, I have. That's what we want to know. If we don't know the problems, as, as he is said, we will not make any solution. Please, yes. we want us to. Yes, yes. 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 yes, but let's, let's, uh, let's agree on the way forward. Exactly. Uh, I think, like right I now. said earlier, a lot of things have surfaced and mm -hmm. we know them. And the committee will have to die. Yeah. Guess that and the yeah. position. But if the ambassador and uh, oh, the deputy head of mission yeah. has right. any, anything else to say, whether in writing or you want to say right now, that you have not said you want to say, you can do so. Uh, then after that, the uh, sister would ask her last question, and then we move to the other side Part of the other Can we hear if, if there is any? If there is any. There is. Do you want it off camera or? No, anyhow. Okay. Uh, okay. No <laughs> okay. Our accommodations. Yes. Very dilapidated accommodations we have. If you see us with our families in those houses, you think we are just ordinary Guinea Bissauans, not diplomats. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely that. I used to feel sorry for myself. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you sit here, by, every, by the end of the month, you have no kobo in your, even in your pocket for fish money. As a diplomat, we expect to go and beg or go and borrow. No. The only place you can go and borrow is at the financial authority. But anytime you come, there's no money. So you feel ashamed to even present yourself as a diplomat. Mm -hmm. You go out for tax, you come, you request for your before money, there's no money. Audience. Audience. You go for, you know, ambassador assignment, you go to Bula. It's outside Bissau. Mm -hmm. If you go, you need to be refunded. That has never happened here. Mm -hmm. So we are suffering here. We are suffering and smiling. I wish you meet all of us here. You will, have, you will mm -hmm. get a lot of information. Mm -hmm. Go to our house right now. Uh, ambassador was opportune to visit my house on Monday. Because when she came, I traveled to the Gambia. She visited all other stuffs. But when she entered my room, she said, it's, it's disappointing to have your chairs in this form. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Honestly, mm -hmm. as a diplomat, how can a, a colleague of yours come to your house or you invite a colleague of yours? I used to feel as if even to, because, some, because you don't expect for me to take my salary and go and entertain a friend. Mm -hmm. But I can take the money that is allocated for me for that entertainment to invite a colleague for secretary or a colleague DHM, have coffee together, discuss issues of relevance. But you cannot have that. You are only confined only from the office here to your house. Because there's nothing you can use to, to go out. Fuel is a problem. I sent to them um, allocated 60, 60 liters for the whole month. 60, 60 liters. 60. For the whole month. 60 liters. 60 liters. For the whole month. Mm -hmm. I approved the ambassador here. She, she instructed this financial attorney. Add 20 liters for making 80. He insisted. 
that the allocation giving is this and this and this, or fuel is this and this and this. So you know, if fuel is finished, you don't take this allocation to su su supplement this one. This will huh? Yes, uh, final intervention on, on the embassy, yes, and then we move on to the other side. Yes. Mr. Jav, uh, I don't know whether uh, right now my understanding is you are the actor, but do you know that based on the uh, how do you call it? FSR, which is the Foreign Service Rules, you are the approving authority at the embassy here? Were you able to demonstrate your right mm -hmm. to make sure that what is necessary in the embassy to happen, or you just leave it the financial attorney to deliberately do whatever he feel like to do so? Yeah. Because uh, I want me to finish it. Every leadership comes with a responsibility. Mm -hmm. When we are here to fact finding, we will account you for your position, what we expect you to deliver on. And the financial attorney's case is also going to be a different issue. For his position, I think he's supposed to be the administrator. You give him the directive to do so. To so shine and execute whatever he needs need to do so. If he's failing to do so, what are the mechanisms? You people taking place, you and your ambassador, I think this question will okay. combine two of you. What are the major responsibilities you people taking action against? Because if you are in such a shape at your own house, and, and the financial attack is uh, how to call it, depriving you of the right, what are the responsibilities you're taking forward? And the ambassador has said, what is the plan and what are you intend to do? Because you cannot live in a position like this. If there's any internal, we all know that there's a problem. But have you executed what is right of you? Yeah. And the ambassador for that yeah. matter. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, on my side, uh, for me, I have to write. Mm -hmm. Whatever I want, I'll write. In case mm -hmm. he refuses, I just write a memo mm -hmm. and file. Yes. And even with that? Yes. Because the time I asked him to add me to the account, so that this I can see everything. It takes a number of uh, days, but I just took my pen and write and circle it. Mm -hmm. And it was done. I believe in my pen. Sure. Yes. Yeah. And even my uh, receipts. Upon his arrival, uh, I have to write and request for reform. Yes. And whatever I want, I'll just call him, come. This is what I want. Yes. And many a time that is done. Yes, it will do. In the case, of your, de in the case of your deputy? Yes. Yeah, you know, you are there for all of them. Just that I assigned him. You can read for yourself. Yeah, I assigned him to give him 18 liters. But uh, it's not done. Because even fuel, we don't carry coupon. It's all cash. You don't carry cash, neither coupon. They have to fill your can, card. Can, can you do the same method, the memo of circulate so that he gets the 80 meters? Uh, of course. Okay, Upon his that. arrival, I will do that. Yeah. Because I make sure so you don't handle any coupon. Neither the driver will say, let me go and change or what. Mm -hmm. You just take this, the slot is, so, they fill your car. Find your Yes, Yes, I have to comment. Uh, I'm sorry, maybe I may say things that may not favor everybody here. Yeah. But then it's a big problem with the embassy. Yeah. Discipline is even lacking. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you want it off the camera? We have a family family yes, yes. Can you can you say that? Oh, you said no problem. No, no. no. So, 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 some information I tried to eminate here. Please. Cut it, cut it. What is your choice? Discipline of camera. Okay, okay. 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 okay, you can go off camera. I can see yeah. 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 I can see everything because I want to help my ambassador. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because without discipline here, nothing can move. We are we are we are friends, ambassador. Um, governance is about continuation. Mm -hmm. It was rather unfortunate that you not been handed over this seed project which would have maybe been a benchmark for us to have more information mm -hmm. to use for us to use to have more information as far as the seed project is concerned but coming into the embassy there were some questions that we had in mind that 
might be very pertinent as far as this concern, this project is concerned. Um, have you ever s seen the contract document of the seed um, project? Also, were you privy to meet the contractor as far as this project is concerned? And as well as if there was any consultant or supervisory body attached to the seed contract, were you privy to know anything about that? It's just unfortunate. Mm -hmm. Since I came here, I just found this rupture like that. Mm -hmm. That time it was completed. Mm -hmm. There was no work going on. Mm -hmm. That time it was already dilapidated. Mm -hmm. So I don't know the contractor, neither the consultant. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. So follow up there. Yes. So when you saw the uh, follow up. Mm -hmm. when you saw the building standing mm -hmm. as a structure, did you ask yourself how the, was it built or how did it arrive to that stage or to that level? And if yes, how did you get to know the information about that building, that this is a chancery that was meant for the Gambian Embassy? No, at the time I came, I learned that there is a chancery allocated to the, uh, the embassy, embassy of the Gambia in Guinea Bissau. Mm. So I went there to visit. Mm. So upon my visit, I learned that that house was not good. Mm. Yes. Because they told me that there is a chancery there since I came here. So I used that opportunity to go there to visit. Yes. Were you, were you told by the local staff or by an official of the Gambian Embassy? No, no, not local staff. Our officers, because uh, Jello is here, mm -hmm. the, then Kamara was here. Yes, but even Kamara don't find the <coughs> building contract on. Yes. So is there any official within the embassy who at the time of construction of that embassy? Mm -hmm. Or if not at the time, at that time, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe the local staffs. Maybe. maybe. Yeah, maybe. Oh. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think look, uh, mm -hmm. I don't know anything. No. Like my position is the same since in the morning. Uh, like maybe you know telepathically she cannot just assign herself to mm -hmm. carry out that investigation. You understand? You know it must be an assignment given to her by the ministry. And this was something that was like laid under the carpet until it was raised by the committee. And I know allocation was done, or even the contracting was done through the minister. Yeah? So I think, you know, we will just be, you know, overwhelming her with issues that she, don't, she doesn't even have an idea. But like we have the file now, when we go back home, we engage the ministry. The directory, that's the African directory, they may have more information than they have. So on that note, I no think... No question, that's the statement. Yeah, mm. that's yeah, no question. Mm. That's true. Uh, yeah. Any member of the group, let's go to Yes, no, me, I'm done. Oh, okay. My yes. final concern to her is that um, after visiting there, you know that the, the building is on the mm -hmm. Yeah. Did you raise your concern to the ministry or request any information in regards to this uh, particular chance? Well, I didn't write officially, but I talked to the permanent secretary so that at least uh, they can at least habilitate or construct another one. Yes, because uh, I don't have actual information about how it was built. But I know it's my concern. <clears throat> to maintain us or rehabilitate that building or to erect a new one so that at least we can save our these house rents. Yeah. Yes. Bringing that question to you is, uh, mm. uh, because it is your concern, that's why you visited over there. Yes. But uh, after doing so, talking to the peers, mm -hmm. did you request any further information from peers to let you know that? By visiting this place, it triggered something in my mind that something was not right here. Mm. Can you please furnish me with certain information in regards to the, uh, the, the contract, the contractor,
the consultant, did you for any other uh, information for you to know and prepare yourself to in case any pertinent question comes to you? Didn't you didn't do that. Thank you. I didn't do that. Because uh, even audit reports, they mention it in audit reports. So obviously, what I can do now to engage somebody, at least to evaluate that building, if it can be rehabilitated, we do it. But no, I'm waiting for the outcome because uh, if I want to engage somebody, we need to pay the person, and there's no development budget presently. Yeah. Oh no, I'm only saying you have asked somebody to do it. Yes, yes. And the guy is yet to report back. To you. He came last week and give you. He said uh, whether I can write something. He wants a, a commitment. Okay. He, yes, he wants me to write. To engage him mm -hmm. to evaluate mm -hmm. and also do the BOQ. Mm -hmm. So I said, uh, No, I, I don't think I can write now. Mm -hmm. I, I have to consult my superiors. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, I think yeah. that that's a very uh, positive yes. thing you have done. Mm -hmm. And I think you just have to pick it up from there yes. and engage the ministry. Yes. We will do our bit, but as the head of the mission, I think if you do that in writing, mm -hmm. even though this project came much earlier than you, mm -hmm. That, that will show your commitment as the national well, property that is the... Yeah, yes. in fact, that's why I went for that, to write the government of Guinea Bissau yes. to have okay. the documentation. Because uh, before constructing any structure at the chancery, you have to get the ownership, you have to get the documentation. It has to be leased Legal. to be the property of Gambia government. That is not there. So that's why I wrote in the month of March to write, because I haven't seen any documentation that shows that is the property of uh, the Gambia uh, the embassy land. in Guinea Bissau. The land. Yeah, the land. My final so that's, that's the observation. Uh -huh. yeah. 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 My final question to you. Were you able to go through this uh, file? Because I need to understand that this file has been created since 2008. Yes. So don't you think that there can be, at least, if it need not be months, but there can be a mini minimal information regards to this chance? If, in fact, that's, that's, why, to that's why I know that. There is no documentation for the land itself. Because uh, for, for me, before I do any development at that land, you have to get it. Yes. So you think that nothing has Yes. Hi, Excellency. Yes, sir. I think. Because what I've seen there is just the skate plan. But uh, for me, I'm after the. The the land one, yeah. okay. Okay. I think that's very key, Chair. Mm -hmm. And I, our coming here will help all of us as a country to establish the facts surrounding the chancery and to fast track its development so that it could be it could be usable. Now what is important at this material time is mm -hmm. As you said, she will do what she's supposed to do. Our report also, we pray to God that we finalize our report. Because our report is going to entail a lot with recommendations. And Parliament can res make strong resolutions to the chance. So we hope that everything goes well at the end of the day. But um, with your permission, we would like to go and see the chance on, uh, on a side visit and uh, on the ground. But if I mean, you have a question? Yeah, no, it's like no. we have everything. We have huh? huh? Everything needed is here now. The ownership? The IPCs, the contract document, the contract oh. everything is here. So, and I think this is the most important thing. Now, uh, based on the short period of time and the arrangements we have given, and based on our itinerary, I don't think we will be able to resolve this with a very uh, uh, comprehensive report. Reason B. We might not have time to engage the contractor one. Two, locating him might be a problem for us. I think, get, allow me to learn. Mm. I think that must have been something that would, we, we, we may want to prepare again, less with the ambassador, for, him to, for her to invite the contractor and the consultant so that we can discuss these issues. I think that is very important. Oh, then are you saying that that will continue, that will continue in our report then? Yes. Okay. But you're sure we have everything there. What about, what about the allocation? A minute. Allocation. What about allocation? Land allocation. Ownership. It's all here. It's, it's ours. No, that was not actually. We've seen that. Yes, yeah.
go to what Sanjay is suggesting. Mm. Fine, that's when we are done, we are finalizing it. Yes. Do you understand? Yes. So between the contract to at this right material time, because that is not part of our service. And the minister, the, the High Excellency is very clear. So we cannot tax uh, right now to say we want to see the contract. But after getting our facts, we will know where we are heading as a committee. I think that's right. So as you say, let them focus on this. Anything that we need from this file, we extract that and we go. Yeah. And, and if, if we want to get another structure, you know, they finish the planning. Once they are done. No, this document is active tomorrow. We, the, we, we can have access to it. We don't want to come back. We want to finish with No, this. I mean, that's where it is important. Now we have this thing and they are working on that. Okay. Let's go to this side. I want them to finish working on this. Although this can be even at night. We have full time. No, so can I have a few words from here? Let me do that. Want, so, this I'm is asking. important. Okay, let's okay, let's finish that. Because I was, I just, I just wanted, no, I just want, I just wanted us to have a short, just a minute. Just a minute. This is what you say. Yes. So, okay, but I don't think so. so I don't think so. I'm suggesting. I'm not going to do this with the cloud. Now, now it's, 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 after, it's, after, it's, after, it's after two. It's only pro for us to pray before we go to the side. What?